Welcome everybody, this is hack number seven, the first of the pro hacks when you've gotten really good at crawfishing. Now we're going to show you how not to get your crawfish trap stolen. you guys basically the point of that little spot there was how not to get your trap stolen is you don't really want to put your trap out in a public fishing hole with everybody watching you set your gear you know and if you put white lines out or red lines you know you really want to make sure like everything we do is camo and uh, Jerry what do you think about fishing off the shore you know in my experience fishing off the shore I've seen some folks will actually take their rope, tie it to a tree, and that rope is hanging down in the water. You can actually see the rope quite obviously. Totally visible. And people get curious, they're gonna pull that rope in and steal it or just be curious of what's there. So point is, you don't wanna do that. We've actually attached our ropes underneath like bushes and hidden the rope. You don't want to make it convenient for people to see. Yeah, and we'll, we'll put up the shore and put rocks on it. When you're using the camel rope, if you're using wider red rope and you're right off the shore, people are going to obviously see it, you know, and a lot of times people will make excuses to steal your stuff. You know, they're going to say, oh, well, look what somebody left here. They just left it. Well, if you're going to leave your trap 24 hours, it's just, yeah, it's, you expect to get it stolen. Now we've actually taken, there's another technique you can do too. This is a camouflage stake. You can wrap your rope around this and take it out in the water and actually put it below the water while you're fishing from the shoreline really difficult for other people to see. The only thing you have to do is remember where you put your trap. <laughs> because right. sometimes we hide our traps so good that people, you know, they just, they forget where they put it. But yeah, you can diagram out where you have it. Now, let's talk about fishing off of a boat for a second. All right. Now, Jerry, what do you think about this little clip we're gonna show them? So this is a really great technique on not getting your trap stolen when you're out on the reservoir. We're gonna drop a trap and we have a buoy that's coming up off of that trap that's still completely under the surface of the water. Then we take a rope and run that to the shoreline. Now what that does is it avoids rocks and debris that's going to be along the shoreline that might get your rope caught up. Then we take it to the shoreline and we hide that rope. Nearly impossible for people to find. We set some pretty expensive traps. This is one trap right here. We're gonna take you to the lake. We're gonna show you setting a boil trap. This trap is not gonna get stolen and it's gonna be out overnight. Come with us to the lake. I'm gonna throw this thing out. This buoy's gonna float actually below the water so nobody can see it. Jerry's gonna run the boat right up on shore. I'm gonna jump off. I'm gonna hide the hide it over there. Here we go. Down the buoy goes. Perfect. Nice, Jerry. Look at that. Now I can just hide this right on the shore. Nobody's even going to see it. Put it right under a rock. The line matches the shore. Just like that, man, that thing is hidden. The boil trap is down. We're gonna come back for it tomorrow morning. All right, Jerry, let's head back to the camp. I think it was up the shore this way. I think it was right up there. I 
hit the rope so good I couldn't even find it myself. <laughs> it blended in with the bottom. <sighs> All right. Let's do it. I'm in. Got the boil trap and a little lagoon out here. Oh yeah, you see it sitting up underneath there. See that buoy down under the water? Quite a ways down. There might be a crawfish in there. Does it feel heavy? Oh no way! No way! Oh my goodness, there's just there's huge ones everywhere. There's a real big one back here we got. Is there uh, really? Oh yeah, monster. Oh jeez, so that's just the ones on the top. <laughs> now that method works great for us. Now Mike's gonna show you another method of how you don't even have to run a rope to shore. Yeah, so, so you know, you could take and you can have a trap and you could put it out. You can have another line running underwater to another trap and have a buoy set underwater right here. And when you're all done, Fit, you put it out overnight, as long as you want. Doesn't make any difference. You can come along with a grappling hook and a little bait. You just put it down, you run it along, you snag that up and you bring it right up to the top. You don't even have to have a, a line going to, this, going to the shore, Jerry. Now, if you have modern equipment and you've been following these hacks and you know the right bait and locations, you don't even have to leave it for more than an hour. So that's the best technique of all. What do you think, Mike? Yeah, man. We put out our traps for an hour, daytime, nighttime. We catch as many crawfish as we want. We don't have to leave our gear. They're definitely not getting stolen when we're around, Jerry. And if they were to get stolen, this is a little over-dramatization of what just might happen. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this hack and be careful when you're out fishing. Make sure not to get your expensive gear stolen. That's right. Now, hack number eight's coming, Jerry. It's mm -hmm. how to freeze crawfish and eat them all year long. We'll see you on the next hack, everybody.